All right. We are going to see two algebraic expressions, 3x plus 5 and negative 4x plus 1. We are going to do all kinds of things with them. We are going to add them, subtract them, take a linear combination of them, and finally, we are going to multiply them. Now, in this particular example, the parentheses sort of suggest that these, these two are items on their own, algebraic expressions, which we are going to add. But algebraically, those parentheses are not necessary because to add two algebraic expressions, we just drop parentheses and combine like terms. So let's do that. If we combine 3x and negative 4x, we get negative 1x or minus x. And if we combine 5 and 1, we get 6. So the answer is negative x plus 6. Okay, let's see the next one. So now we have the same two algebraic expressions, but this time we are subtracting. As always, to subtract is to add the opposite. So we're going to add 3x plus 5 and the opposite of minus 4x plus 1. So when we add, we just drop parentheses and combine like terms. So this is going to become a plus, this is going to become a minus. So we're going to have plus 4x minus 1. And now we combine like terms. 3x plus 4x is 7x and 5 and negative 1 is 4. Therefore, the correct answer is 7x plus 4. We again have the same two algebraic expressions, 3x plus 5 and negative 4x plus 1, but this time both of them are multiplied by a number and that is added. Something like that is called a linear combination. This is a linear combination of the two algebraic expressions. So we're going to distribute Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times plus 5 is negative 10. Negative 3 times negative 4x is plus 12x. And this is going to be an addition. So when we say plus 12x, we mean adding it. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And now we're going to combine like terms. Negative 6x plus 12x combines to 6x and negative 10 minus 3 can be combined into negative 13. So the answer is 6x minus 13. So this was a previous example. Both expressions are in parentheses, but in between the parentheses there is addition. Here, between the two parentheses, there is nothing, and that nothing indicates the default operation, namely multiplication. So we're going to multiply these two expressions, carefully applying the distributive law, one way to do that is with FOIL, where F is short for first with first, O with outer, I with inner, and L for last. There are going to be four little pieces added or subtracted. So the first piece, F, is the first piece times the first piece. So that's 3x times negative 4x. That's negative 12x squared. Right? Negative times positive, that's negative. 3 times 4 is 12 and x times x is x squared. Next up, O is for the outer terms. So 3x times 1 is 3x, or plus 3x. I is for the inner ones. So we're going to multiply plus 5 with negative 4x. That's negative 20x. And finally, L is the last with the last one, plus 5 times plus 1. That is just plus 5. Now we're going to combine like terms. Negative 12x squared and 3x are on like terms. And 3x and 5 are on like terms. The only like terms here are these two. Plus 3x and negative 20x can be combined to negative 17x. So the answer is negative 12x squared minus 17x plus 5. Thank you for watching.